Let's play a game, shall we? It's called Spot the Lie, because the best way to hide, uh, you know, lies is surrounded by truth. For example, if I was to tell you that I got laid more than anybody on this planet, and that I also have six kids, well, the fact that I have six kids is the truth. And then ultimately, well, I do okay, but at the end of the day, that is essentially how you start to package and bundle hidden lies amongst the truth. Now, for those of you who are longtime subscribers here, welcome back. I'm trying to weave in more of my comedy and my stand-up special into these videos, so hopefully you enjoyed that little. Uh, it's probably too early in the morning. It might have caught some of you off guard, but welcome in anyway. Uh, speaking of which, guys, in the link below, tickets for my comedy special, which is happening this Saturday, January 21st in Fort Worth Hyenas Comedy Club, uh, are on sale now. If you guys are in the area and you want to come check it out, uh, check out that link and get your tickets uh, right now. And hopefully we'll be able to hang out and see each other on Saturday. But I want to talk to you guys today about the state of Final Fantasy and these rumors that are wrapped around. Some of these things are definitely going to, uh, I think, happen. Uh, other things are kind of questionable. So let's kind of break it down. And I'd love to get your thoughts on any and all of these things. Now, while this rumor is uh, coming out of 4chan, which essentially could kind, kind of cause shade to all of these things, I want to point out a few things that we are relatively certain of. Uh, first and foremost, regarding Final Fantasy Online 11 and 14, they're looking at a combined subscription. This is the, something the devs confirmed last year. Not confirmed like it's absolutely happening, but confirmed that they are absolutely looking into it. And I have long been an advocate for this uh, with Final Fantasy 14 and 11 because of the nature of what Final Fantasy Online brings. We're gonna talk about what they mean by beginnings rework project here in a second. We're also gonna talk about the Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Anniversary. It's the 10 year anniversary here in 2023. And so like when you see, again, when we're saying spot the truth here, yeah, it's the 10 year anniversary. Yeah, this is a possibility. I, I do wanna also call out the, the stories of Ivalice, War of the Lions, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, remake or remaster uh, this was a part of the uh, nvidia leaks that happened a while ago and everything on the nvidia links up to this point has been true and that kind of also ties to final fantasy 9 uh, as a remake for final fantasy 9 as well now that essentially is where i would say yeah we know these things are pretty much in line and rocking and rolling but let's look at everything else that's happening uh, on these lines now they put final fantasy 9 remake for this fall who knows like this could just be kind of a wish list story of the evil east for this summer uh they also put final fantasy you know 14 uh, you know obviously that's this summer but it has going to be a focal part of the presentation and then they have final fantasy 7 uh rebirth which is the second part of the 7 remake for this winter this is a stacked year if this is all going to be happening during final fantasy uh 35th anniversary but i do want to kind of now point out some of the other things they talk about final fantasy uh, you know, a world of Final Fantasy 2, a Mog of Light, uh, saying for May this year. That would be absolutely wild if that was the case. And this also goes in line with everything they're doing for Final Fantasy 14 as well. So all of a sudden, this starts to be, uh, that starts to kind of put a little red flag because we haven't seen kind of a stacked year from Square Enix in that long of a time. And you also have to start to wonder if any of this is true. Is any of this also going to be combined with any of their NFT projects that they're working on? We'll have to wait and see if any of it ends up panning out to be true, but not all of this could end up being good news. So set your expectations to mild and, uh, and, and feel free to get, you know, happy by this and hopeful by this, but don't let this ruin your year if it doesn't happen. Now on the regards of Final Fantasy 11 beginnings rework project. If they're announcing that, that's going to bring me a lot of joy because I think the beginnings rework, it really just kind of depends on what you mean. Now, notice they're not saying remake. They're not saying remaster. They're saying rework. And I think essentially when you start to factor it in, when you start to look at things like Horizon XI, when you start to look at some of these aspects, if they're able to take that into a new engine, uh, I don't know if that means graphic fidelities are going to come along with it, but if it gives them the ability to really make some of the key changes that they need, sharing the engineering with Final Fantasy XIV, honestly, if they just moved Final Fantasy XI into the XIV engine, not into the 14 kind of game methodology, not the theme park, but the sandbox, keeping that mindset, but able to move it into that same engine and deliver on what Final Fantasy XI does, I think that could save them all kinds of time and effort. Like, honestly, if you start to think about from an engineering perspective and your engineering team, sharing that same engine, 
I think from a budgetary perspective and a feature perspective, that benefits 14 more than I think it benefits 11. I think it's going to benefit 11, but I think Final Fantasy 14 over the course of its next 10 year plan actually would benefit it far greater uh, than I think a lot of people might recognize. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers and hoping this to be true. Now, all in all, like here's the thing that draws my attention. Final Fantasy 10 3 says now in development. They announce a 10 3. I felt that Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2, which I actually adore 10 2. I, I, I actually liked 10 2 more than the original 10. I enjoyed 10. But 10-2 I thought was great. And if they ended up doing a 10-3, I think I would love to return to the world of Spira. I would love to return to that, that aspect. It never felt like it was a complete, it, it did feel like it was setting itself up for a trilogy. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but a 10-3 would be something I think wonderful to see, especially if they were able to bring that into core, uh, into core modern uh, design. Now, even also when we start to talk about it, that'd be a really great Final Fantasy game to have as a turn-based combat system. I know for players out there who aren't interested in the, you know, the, the active, uh, combat, um, the, you know, action combat, I think essentially this would be huge. Now, the other kind of announcements to kind of cover the, uh, the full post for you guys, they're talking about like, you know, Final Fantasy seven mobile, Final Fantasy seven, ever crisis closed beta test, August Final Fantasy seven, Dissidia opera, uh, Omnia JP Xena's trailer and Final Fantasy brave Exodus promotional video. This is going to be a huge announcement. It looks like they're targeting this for February the 7th. So we should know more. Now, they said that press might get all the hands on to the early access by February 2nd. Uh, I don't know if that means they're going to be leaking and, and delivering this information. But if it ends up panning out to be true, we won't have long to, to wait uh, to verify that. But again, kind of spot the light because this also feels kind of like a wish list, a dream list, if you will, for uh, Final Fantasy fans. And I know I among them am as excited as ever to see kind of how this goes but guys that's kind of the news i mean it's more rumor than anything but again we know some of these things have been talked about and if they were going to hide any lies in this post itself uh well those those lies are kind of wrapped around some of these truths and that's kind of what i i, I tend to do that's how i kind of tend to think about these things but regardless it's got my hopes up i'm really looking forward to seeing if this ends up panning out to be true if it does pan out to be true, it's going to be one hell of a year for Final Fantasy fans. And uh, hopefully, um, hopefully it is. I mean, I think, you know, nothing wrong with it. You know, if this ends up, if this list in and of itself ends up being coming true, I think there's going to be even more to be excited about. But that's going to be the thoughts that I have. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, any and all. Sound off below and uh, let's have that conversation. But guys, uh, thanks so much for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But until then, take care.